Have you ever imagined connecting the entire world with just an idea? In the late 1980s, one quiet computer scientist changed the way humanity shares knowledge forever. His name was Tim Berners-Lee, the man who invented the World Wide Web. Tim was born in London in 1955 to parents who were both computer programmers. He grew up surrounded by logic, circuits, and questions about how information could move between machines. As a student, he loved to tinker, building his own computers from spare parts. When he joined CERN, a research center in Switzerland, he faced a problem. Thousands of scientists were working together but their computers couldn't easily share data. Each system spoke its own language. Information was locked away in isolated silos. Tim wondered, what if there was a way to connect everything, every document, every computer, through invisible links? So, in 1989, he wrote a simple proposal. It was called Information Management. A proposal. Inside, he described something revolutionary. A network of documents connected by hyperlinks, accessible from anywhere in the world. He built the first web browser, the first web server, and the first website. It wasn't flashy, just words and links. But it worked. For the first time in history, knowledge could travel freely across the globe. In a single moment, the World Wide Web was born. But what made Tim's story remarkable wasn't just his invention. It was his choice. He gave it away. He refused to patent the web, believing it belonged to everyone. He said, this is for everyone. Today, every click, every search, every connection traces back to that one decision. A reminder that the most powerful technologies begin not with profit, but with purpose. Tim Berners-Lee's story reminds us that one idea shared freely can change the course of human history.